You don't have to go have an experience to know God's pleased with you. You don't have to have an experience to know that God accepts you. Right. Because you're with that plumb line and you're in the truth and you know it's yours. And so you don't need that carnal evidence. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it looks so good when you're in it. And it feels so good till the moment you leave. Yeah. And then you're shot down again waiting till the next time that you have another experience as evidence that God's happy with you. Right. Yeah. yeah. That he's there. That yeah. he's near you. And isn't that really why we would get sucked into that? Because we felt so yes. far away from God. Right. Because we didn't have a revelation that there's a human being seated at the yes. right hand of God. Exactly. Right? Right? right. right. I mean, we're kind of like peering in out from the outside window, looking yes. in, wondering right. if he'll throw us some crumbs outside when all yes. the while the door was open and there was a place for us to be in there. And so that's kind of why we would get caught up in that. Right. But it's like now that we've seen ourselves in the face of Jesus. It's like all that stuff becomes so less, I don't want to say important, but it's not staring front and center because all those things you were seeking that stuff for are satisfied now. Exactly. Right? It's like, um, and it, it, it's, it's, I, hate, I, don't, I hate to say it like this, but just to say it as radical as I can, it's like a drug. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's like yeah. when, I, when I was doing the ecstasy all the time when I was a kid, the ecstasy would tap into a chemical in your brain called serotonin. For those of you who don't know what serotonin is, that stuff makes you happy. That's like the stuff that makes you full of joy, right? Like that's the thing that keeps you happy, smiling. But when you take the ecstasy, it taps into the source and yanks it all out, all at once. Bam! Mm -hmm. And so you're like overwhelmed with like happiness and joy, <laughs> like obscenely. But what happens is when it goes away, the drug wears off. It sucked all the serotonin out of your body. So for like 24 hours now, you got zero serotonin. So you're like, like a dead zombie walking around. That's how it was in the, when, we, when we were chasing you know, words or chasing a guy who could read your mail or right. chasing getting a miracle to come to pass. It was like we're, it's like we were trying to experience God from those things instead of living from experiencing God all the time through what he said in Jesus, mm -hmm. right? right? And so when we got those things, it's like a high. He is near me. He has approved of me. His hand is upon me. Glory to God. I'm valuable. The man of God told me I have a ministry. I'm valuable. The man of God told me all these things about what I'm going to do for God. It's like we were trying to find our value in everything other than Jesus. Right. And so when we think we got something that confirmed our desire to be valuable, man, it was like a drug high. Mm -hmm. If we could get a miracle to happen, oh, that must mean God loves me. Yeah, right. Right? Yeah. But the second it goes away, or the second you don't get the miracle, or the second you don't get a word that Sunday when you go to church, maybe all the words happened on that side of the church. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's funny, we got it backwards because he said, and these things will follow them yeah. instead of they will follow these things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 